Hello everyone and welcome to Pocket Mirror. Now I got a I got a confession to make. I already gotten further ahead on this, but there's still something I want to say. Is I want to thank I want to thank all the subscribers and the people who've been talking to me. I especially want to thank the Empty Souls and Q Domi developers. You have been immensely helpful and supportive, and I and I love your games and a Q Domi. I would I would love for you to let me know when your game's finished. I want to finish it so bad, okay? I, I just gotta play it. it. It is so good. I'm sorry. You, I'm addicted now. But let's continue on. And of course, this place is a complete nightmare. So, yep, yeah, mirror blood. You need to go that way. <laughs> Yeah, I had that same expression too when I when I went to see my chili. Illuminated by the sun, between water and fire, I rest in the dark side of the moon, awaiting your awakening. What does that mean? Oh yeah, and also uh, I would love some. I would love to know if anyone knows anybody who could do some banner art. I would love to. I would love to do that. Now this actually didn't take me that long. <coughs> One could say. It. One could say it was fairly straightforward. In between, you know, there we go. It's too bright, I can't see anything. It's like somewhere around here. It's too bright, I can't see anything. There it is. There's something on the window's parapet. Acquired a golden marble. <coughs> I. It was. Okay, makes sense. I'll, I'll give it that. Makes sense. And then it only left. It'll only leave you with this. So excuse me, I became deaf. I should bring it with me. <coughs> okay. There are, these are dirty with footprints. I don't want to touch them. Oh, there's a mirror. What does this say? There's a big mirror here. <coughs> yeah. And you are? Oh, yes, you. You're not creepy at all. Or full of death. Such a strange doll. If you just go interact with anything, they'll be like, I don't understand this handwriting, it's too complicated, blah blah blah, I can't reach... Did you hear that? Because... I heard that. Oh, that's, that's the boy. Oh. That's... That's completely creepy. It's a diary. <coughs> <coughs> There's something scribbled on the cover. Little goody two-shoes. <coughs> Animate. Look at the animation. I once lived in a small village when I was young. My youth was spent in hard labor and cold, sleepless nights. That's so good. I often dreamt about a better future, one that can fill my stomach with luxurious sweets and thick, expensive steaks. Okay. Sometimes when I go grocery shopping, I do buy my mother some really good steaks. It's true. She is a southern girl and does like steaks. <laughs> One day I heard an old woman talking about a strange rumor. She said that a certain someone had been granting wishes in the woods to anyone who dared summon a certain name. Beelzebub. Someone who wasn't quite... Human. It's... Oh. <coughs> Goodbye. What happened? Well, the strange doll-like creature went into another dimension. Um, my first thought was, get out of here! No, the door is gone. My second thought is, what's the time? It's, it's not moving. My third thought... Eh, she still can't understand these hand rhymes. Well, time to check the mirror. <coughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. She don't need to tell me who's sexy of them all. That's me. It's moving, like water. Mirrors don't tend to do that. Or that. <coughs> uh, 
And look, you're actually in a better room. But that's not the important thing. It's all light and bright and nice, but look, there's reflections. I'm just walking on the reflection now. That's so good. That's such a good detail. Oh, it makes me happy. Is this pumpkin snoring? Why, yes he is. Hold on. There we go. Now I'm no longer being blasted on by orchestra music. She's looking this way. Oh no, look away before you get turned in stone. Shh, just pretend you're asleep and she'll go away. She'll just pretend you're, pretend you're asleep and she won't get you. Zzz. Zzz. Yeah, I make that same face whenever I see talking pumpkins too. It's completely normal. <coughs> uh. There we go. You, Mr. Pumpkin, where's Mr. Owl? Looking for something? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know what's funny. It's closed shut. The doorknob is stuck. I'm being made fun of by pumpkins. <laughs> Why? The door, it's closed shut, the door's not stuck. This took me quite a while. Wait, you can't touch that or else, my hand. But what you can do is read this. Blinded as sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just, childish play. Right and left, taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. And it says the same thing for the other side too. Which will lead us into. <coughs> And now it's much worse. Yay! Wait. Oh, those are cobwebs. I, those cobwebs are going over her skin. Should that happen? <coughs> <coughs> I want to see it once more. Ah, story time. Just pretend I have a pipe. Okay, I can't afford a pipe. This is this is this is YouTube on a budget. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror. I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-colored irises accompany all, accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from this day, I was born are a few memories, forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. I'm throwing the pipe now. It's stupid. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong? I wonder. They are certainly not mine, and yet here they dwell inside the small room where I sit. Even reminded of these fabricated crimson irises which replayed once and again. A thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind. It's not, you know, you don't need to call your mind small. It's pretty average size, I'm I'm sure. Your, your mind is not small. You're just small-minded, if you think that. <laughs> and yet I still can't reach my conclusion other than my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those eyes. <coughs> Living in this small room... <coughs> Sorry. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. <coughs> a red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening, only a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instance, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection, my reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I have never seen? Could it be me? <coughs> I, recall, I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheeks. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin and f the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand and my hand made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to feeling 
to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was, not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected on the mirror was me and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body and yet, as I turned my head and to look outside, the same light which had peeked into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my own room, room where I strayed. <laughs> deprived of senses, deprived of sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. <laughs> Such a sad story. I'll say that is interesting. Nah, I'm pretty good. Doctors have yet to find a way to successfully transplant an eyeball. The optic nerves that connect the eye to the brain is too sensitive to safely to be safely reconstructed. Oh, I get what's going on here. Various dusty jars rest in the corner, each one carrying different color eyeballs. I acquired a pumpkin charm! What did those do? What, what, what do those two charms? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> In each jar floats half of an unusually big eyeball, staining the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. What is this thing here? What is this? Okay, apparently it's nothing. I got pumpkin charm. An eyeball floats in murky water, sealed inside an old jar. An eye for an eye. Okay, well, time to go into hell. I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. I want to see the light once again. Okay. Uh. No, I did not want to read it. Oh. Okay, it's time to make up my own sleep. <coughs> <coughs> there was once a girl who kept her eyes closed for an eternity, had it, and who could not decide which chair to sit. She kept on wondering. Why are the eyes floating above my head? And there are two chairs to sit. Should I take the left one or the right one? She leaned her head to the left, worried that the right one would get jealous. And she just could not bear it. So she kept sitting on the floor, each chair, guarding, waiting for a chance to be used. She cried out, won't you pick one of us? We don't mind. Please, rest yourself. No need to stay on that hard floor. But she could not decide, for what if one did not like her? The other one was to sh what, if, what if she chose one? And the other one did not like her, for what? she could not bear such hatred from chairs. I mean, who could honestly think that chairs would hate you? But, I mean, she's locked inside this room for a long time. Give her a break. It hasn't been that long. And so she left the chairs behind, the eyes just following her. Perhaps she was... Perhaps she was so tripped out on shrooms. No one knows, but she was crying. It was a bad trip, we believed. And her parents just looked at each other like, why did she, why did she open her eyes? It's awkward that she doesn't open her eyes. She should open her eyes. And so she listened to her parents and opened her eyes. Her eyes were bloodshot red, possibly because of all the marijuana or illicit drugs her parents were smoking filled the castle. Seriously, she was probably tripping. It, 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 it's, it's, they're not good parents, man. Really, really not good parents. Maybe that's why her face is like that. It was very, very bad. But as I, as a, <clears throat> hold on. <clears throat> but with every up, there must come a down. And the worst crash of her life happened. The parents felt bad. Never learn their lesson. Don't do drugs. That's all I have to say. Please, don't do drugs. Please. <laughs> and that is my story. Okay. So she wants to see the light, huh? This one is so dirty, light barely gets through. So I'm supposed to, like, what, find a rag or something? <coughs> There's only enough shards. Oh! Can I push it? Yes, I can. Okay, I... Do I need to push it? 
Aha! Well, time's over. Okay, I get it now. I get the puzzle. I understand. We'll solve it next time. Well, this place, it's, this is such a good game. I can't believe I'm... S Not one game I paid for. They're all so good. I can't believe... And it's seriously, the developer from q -Dummy? I I just want to know if they're... I, I just need to know when your game's completed, okay? Please? Can, can I have that promise? I just... Please? Until then, have fun and keep playing, y'all. Until next time.